Besides its low chemical activity and high thermal conductivity, graphite also conducts electric current well, which is why it's used to make current collectors in trolley buses or electrodes in batteries. It is noteworthy that besides regular graphite, which is synthesized by heating up coke or almost pure carbon with vestiges of petroleum refining processes, there also exists so-called pyrolytic carbon, which is synthesized by heating up butane or propane to 1500 degrees Celsius in vacuum. This method of synthesis makes the properties of such obtained graphite more similar to those of a recently discovered graphene. For instance, thermal conductivity of pyrolytic carbon is several times higher than that of regular graphite, which is why, if you hold a piece of such graphite in your hand, you can easily slice through ice cubes with the warmth of your hand. Besides having higher thermal and electric conductivity, such graphite is also the best diamagnetic material in the world. In other words, it gets repelled by any magnetic field. For instance, if you take nine magnets linked a special way and put a pyrolytic carbon circle on them, it will be able to levitate almost indefinitely until the magnetic field ceases to exist. Of course, the levitation isn't very strong and can hardly be compared to quantum locking, but still such a levitated circle can even hold a small weight.